guys. Welcome back to our channel. Oh, oh, whoa! Oh, both these bees are very active. Oh, mine is. Crazy. Mine too. So I'm drinking Dragon Mead um, Norwegian Winter Warmer Ale with cinnamon and nutmeg. It might be the end of March, but it's still the thick of winter here in Michigan. We still have snow. snow. Yep, so let's see. This brewery is actually, oh my god! I thought this was an import. This is out of Warren, Michigan. Warren? I'm from Warren, which is really close to Detroit. I actually grew up on an eight mile in Warren uh, on Van Dyke, and this actually is located at 11 mile in Warren. We're gonna have to go here, honey. This, this video is not about beer. As you know, every other Wednesday is a whatever we feel like doing Wednesday. This is a whatever we feel like doing Wednesday. What are you drinking? I'm drinking Ale Smith uh, IPA, and it is 7.25 ABV. Okay. I have no IBU listed on the bottle that and I can that's, see. And that's an, that's a this out of state, This is actually right? out of state. Uh, it says it's pretty awesome. A San Diego classic, Ale Smith IPA, showcases the versatility of American hops, aromas of grapefruit, and tangerine lead into an abundance of fresh pine and tropical fruit notes, followed by a crisp, resinous bitterness. The complex hop profile is supported by a firm malt presence to create an incredibly flavorful and well-balanced IPA. The beer's citrus and pine notes pair well with fresh aromatic herbs, citrus-based dressings, and Asian-inspired flavors. Asian IPA's inspired. refreshing bitterness and dry finish also help temper the heat of spicy foods and contrast the tan tanginess of farmhouse cheddars and spicy blues. Serving a pint at 45 to 50 degrees. That is a wordy bag. They have a very uh, large amount of information on the back of their beer. Yeah. It's an encyclopedia of information. It is, and it has like an anvil on it, yeah, which is kind of cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm going to the smith. Okay, so what are we doing today? <coughs> we are doing Would You Rather. So we went to a website. Let me pull it up oh, here really quickly. Right. I tried to get Alexa to do this. Alexa would do it, but I, I didn't think it was a good idea for like <coughs> filming and sound quality and that kind of stuff. So, uh, would uh, you uh, uh, Yeah. Hold on. I have to figure out. Okay. So, this is conversationstartersworld.com. That is what I'm using. It was the first thing that popped up when I typed in would you rather questions. So, we're going to like slide the phone so back and forth. So, a lot of these and probably are already used somewhere. Yeah, we're just going to do this while we drink because it sounds fun and <laughs> may reveal information about us you don't know. Let's get started. I know you so well. Uh, I'm going to be able to well, this already. Well, you don't know. Sometimes I'm weird. <clears throat> Sometimes dogs are brown. And you can, we don't have to go in any type of order because we're not doing a specific amount. This is not fair. The first one is ridiculous. That's extremely citrus, piney, and delicious. You like it a lot? Yeah, it's good. Out of five? It's got a little bit of a tart taste in, at the back of the finish. Uh, almost a sour. Mm -hmm. So it's really good. Um, three and a half. I mean, I'd it's love to good. just, I'd love to know, but I... I bet yours is... <laughs> yours is great. Oh! Oh, God! Oh! Oh, God! Oh! It's like when you bit your lip and there's like blood in your mouth and right. you can taste it. I'm gonna go in, uh... Order. I don't want you reading a bunch of them though because then you'll know the I'm question. I'm going to go into order. Okay, know? that's fine. Because then I won't read a bunch of them. Okay. And uh, unfortunately, I already know the answer to this one, and I'm sure that most of you will already guess the answer too. Yeah, how well do you know us? <laughs> Would you rather lose all of your money and valuables or all of the pictures you've ever taken? Oh, <laughs> all the money and valuables. <clears throat> Yeah, I knew Easily. that was going to be the answer. Easily. She but would be though, because, poor in a cardboard box. But listen, I'm an overthinker. On a street corner somewhere. Money doesn't matter. Huddled up against but the wall. There are valuables. There are valuables that matter. My camera is valuable. So like, I don't know. Like I overthink things, but I'm still going to go with pictures. I know. I, I figured you would. Okay. Would you rather be able to see ten minutes into your own future, or? 10 minutes into the future of anyone but yourself. Ooh. I think anyone but myself. Why? Because I, I don't really want to know. About your own? Yeah. So you would rather know other people's 10 minute projection? Yeah, I mean, what if, what if, like, what if it's something bad? Or yeah. what if I'm drinking a bad beer? Then I'm going to find out and I'll never try that beer. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, well, I mean, I feel like it probably is a little more deep than that, but yeah. Well, if I if it was a bad, if, what if it was a, what if it was a, like a what was that name, the name of that one like four four four, quadros four or loco. Like if it was a four loco and I knew that I could look ten minutes into the future and see how bad it was, I never would have done it. I would like to know as a side note, every winter warmer I've ever had has done this. Do you remember the one we did outside that was the Goose Island? I took pictures freezing. of it. The one that kept freezing in the glass because it was it would ice over and then freeze. And that one was one of them, but we yeah. did a bunch of winter warmers last year. <clears throat> one of them was by Greenbush Brewing and did the same thing. Yeah. Would you rather be famous when you're alive and forgotten when you die, or unknown when you're alive but famous after you die? So in other words, would I you... get I get what you're saying. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I would rather be famous after I die. After you die. Yeah. Really, you wouldn't want to be famous and when you're alive. No. Well, because if you think about it, a lot of the artists that I learned about in college and were inspired from, because I do more than just photography, I do a lot of like two-dimensional art as well, they were not famous in the moment. And fame would have changed their creativity and their processes. Yeah, and they're famous after the fact because they stayed true to themselves. So you would say that being famous would make you... Also, fame yourself. doesn't matter to me. Would you rather go to jail for four years for something you did not do? Or get away with something horrible you did, but always live with the fear of being caught. Ooh. That's really hard. Well, how old am I when I gotta go to there's jail no, for the There's no years? information, honey. See, that's, that's the problem. It's point blank. Like, what would you rather? Go, for, go to jail for a crime you didn't commit. I guess I'd rather get it over with and go to jail. Even if you didn't commit it? Yeah, it's better than worrying about somebody arresting you all the time. Yeah, fair. Okay, I'm finally <clears throat> gonna drink this. Like... Imagine looking over your shoulder. Oh, day so day. much better than I thought it was going to be. Is it good? No. Oh. But, it, <laughs> but it's not terrible. I'm not huge on winter warmers, like, which is funny because like fall spices, like things yeah. that I find seasonally a fall spice, like nutmeg, coriander, yeah. cinnamon, things you see in like desserts and that kind of stuff. Um, I really dig, generally speaking, like I, like a, I love a good pumpkin pie and some of the key flavor notes that are in this beer are also represented in like pumpkin pie. But it's kind of like malty and a little mm. bit like off-putting. The texture is like malty, light to full. Clove, yeah. Style. It, it almost makes me feel a little bit sick. Also, I'm like super hungry, so like you know that doesn't help. But just, <laughs> you wouldn't like it. Or you don't like spices. Would you rather accidentally be responsible for the death of a child or accidentally be responsible for the death of three adults? I mean, they're both accidents, and. I would say a child over over three adults. <coughs> I think, and it's not a matter of age for me, even though this question is trying to push you to choose based on age. For me, three people make more of a ripple effect in people's lives than one person does. So three people who are adults have spouses, families, and like everything else that branches off of that. One child is going to affect their family, like as far as their parents and that branch. But three adults are going to affect their children as well as the branch of family that comes off of them. And they didn't say age as far as the adults goes. So I think it's a matter of like quantity, not age for me with this one. I'm going to say three adults. They're both accidental, so either way it's terrible. But three adults. What? I only would, have the two choices? Yeah, would you rather your shirt be, <coughs> be always two sizes... Oh, sorry, I read it wrong. Two sizes too big... Or one size too small. Oh, that too big. Sense. Too big for sure. For sure. Yeah, I mean, I think a halter top on you would be kind of cute. I mean, like, no. You could rock a belly shirt. Like, no. I, Fuzzy I get belly button like showing. the wife beater, white wife beater with the ribbed thing and then like a belly. Yeah, it's cute. Hairy on it. That's cute. Oh, I'm drinking a past blue ribbon. That sounds terrible. I mean, we weren't talking about that. It, it just went there. That's all. Hold on, I gotta help Oberon. Baby. Did you get it? Good boy! Would you rather live in the wilderness, far from civilization, or live on the streets of a city as a homeless person? Obviously wilderness. Like, is that even supposed to be a would you rather? Uh, yeah. Is that for someone who's like materialistic Seriously. and loves the city because like... Like, I would totally... A hundred percent I'd rather be in the wilderness. No be what a dumb question. Oh. Would you rather the general public think you are a horrible person, but your family be very proud of you, or your family think you're a horrible person, but the general public be very proud of you. No, no, no. I, I, my family needs everything to me. I want my 
Yeah, and that's pretty obvious. But this yeah, is for I, people who are like insecure. <clears throat> I would want my and, like, family to be proud of me over yeah. all of us. Yeah. Screw those public people. Would you rather you live your entire life in a virtual reality where all of your wishes are granted or in the real world? I'm sorry, can you repeat that again? Would you rather live your entire life in a virtual reality where all your wishes are granted or in the real world? Matrix-like. Yeah, um, real world. <clears throat> I think this idea, like, and it's... He's just trying to get his binky. Yeah. Um, all these movies, and Matrix is a great example, a lot of these movies that have people in virtual reality, I think of Tron, actually, first and foremost. Oh, yeah. Because um, we recently watched yeah. it with Patrick. You, when you're always granted whatever you want, you stop wanting, and you start feeling lonely and like the, the the harsh reality that things don't matter and getting exactly what you want isn't always what you need would be too annoying to deal with. That's a good point. Like getting everything you always wanted isn't always what you need. Eliminates the need for want. But not even that. It's like you want something but you know you don't need it and sometimes you need things that you don't want but you don't know until you play it out. Yeah. So I think like I'd rather live in the real Excellent. world Excellent. for sure. Would you rather be alone for the rest of your life or always be surrounded by annoying people? Ooh, I know. If if I had to live my entire life with having Eileen with me and surrounded by annoying people, that's really kind of reality. So, <laughs> so you're saying so you, I, I, you're I, I, already I, living that now I'm because you're with me, that. but everyone else is I, annoying? I live with my wife, my my person of my dreams, and I'm surrounded by annoying people. So, um, that's how I feel that's sometimes. That's what retail is. Yeah, that is what retail is. You're right. Idiots, and you get to be with your person. Ooh, it smells like citrusy for sure. Would you rather never use social media sites or apps again, or never watch another movie or TV show? Can you repeat that? I was focusing I on stealing you your did. beer. Okay. I saw what you did, and okay. I'm upset about it. Okay. And I don't know that I can continue reading until my beer is back. Okay. In my... Okay. 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 <laughs> That's kind of tough, but I'm going to go with never watch a movie or, or um, TV show because, and this is the reason, it's not because I'm amongst the crowd of people that are attached to their phones. I do social media because we, we as a business, as a community are online, but watching TV and watching TV shows doesn't matter to us specifically. Like we would Movies rather... and TV shows. Yeah, I get that. I get that. I don't care about it too much. But I still have music and I have social media, which can be entertaining. And also, I watch YouTube more than I watch TV shows and true. movies. And you can get TV shows and movies on YouTube. That's true. But social media is not just killing time and doing things that are mindless on your phone. It's also connecting, and that's the full root of why we have social media. It's connecting with family and friends. So I wouldn't be able to connect with my family and friends who are living their lives online, and that would suck. I'd rather deal with people I know and love than watch people I don't know in fictional situations on a screen. Would you rather have an easy job working for someone else or work for yourself but work incredibly hard? Work for myself incredibly hard. It's what we're doing now. <laughs> it's not like, easy to be a small mm, business owner. It's not, and it, it's uh, It's rewarding. And it's time consuming and all the other things, but we say go. It feels so much better than... We say than, boo. Yeah. Um, also, easy isn't fun. Challenges are fun. Would you rather be the first person to explore a planet or be the inventor of a drug that cures a deadly disease? I would rather be the inventor of a drug that cures a deadly disease. <clears throat> I agree with that. Which is ironic because I'm not really <clears throat> into pharmaceuticals or drugs. If there's something that would cure cancer, yeah. 100%. Yeah, because it helps a bunch <clears throat> of people and, and it it's selfish. It everyone's life. Plus, what if the planet sucks? Like, True. what if you get there and it's just like, it's terrible. Full, right? Like smells like poop or something. Like that wouldn't be great. You're like, Welcome it's to Poopy really Planet. <laughs> like it's really pretty, but it smells like a shit. Hey, your planet looks great, but is that poop over there? It's like it looks so pretty. <laughs> it looks pretty. Would you rather have a horrible short-term memory or a horrible long-term memory? Horrible short-term memory. Obviously, who would want to live with it for a long time? <laughs> well, I I want to remember things that have happened to me years gone by. I, I want to remember those things. So. Would you rather be completely invisible for one day or be able to fly for one day? Fly. You'd want to fly for a day? Yeah. 
rather than be completely invisible. For yeah, me. I mean, invisible would be good if I was like wanting to prank people and like f with people. Fly would be good because it would give me a new perspective on life, and it would be such a thrill to feel the wind going through you and to feel like you're a drone. Like I could be Skippy. You can never be Skippy. Yes, I could. You cannot be Skippy. Four little propellers on my head. Stop it. Stop it. You are not going to be Skippy. That's rude. It's rude for you to say that. <laughs> it isn't. He's, hurt. he's up there just beeping, he's, like upset with me. He's in his room, upset. You would answer the same way. Don't be a turd pile. I would, but would you, I get to see the world through Skippy's eyes. Just stop. So do I. <laughs> would you rather be locked in a room that is constantly dark for a week or a room that is constantly bright for a week? Ooh. Think about vertigo. Bright for a week. Uh, I would have to Remember that, that time we were in the cave. Where they had complete where darkness. Where they had complete darkness and it was like, like. literally no light pollution of any kind. We were I inside of a cave. It was not even 60 Kayaking seconds. Kayaking in a cave. 60 seconds maybe, was it? No, he didn't even do that. Even. He said that he was not able to do, by law, um, for safety reasons, he was only allowed to do 40 seconds. It was terrible. It was the most awful feeling. Because after 15 and you think, seconds, like, you when forget you start where you thinking are. Thinking about. Like, I thought I was going to tip the kayak. It was a horrible feeling. It was a weird feeling, for um, sure. I would never, ever want to experience that again. For a week. Never again. No, thank you. i got to finish my beer so I can drink yours. Would you, would you rather be poor but help people or become incredibly rich by hurting people? Poor and help people. <clears throat> well, That'd be terrible. I would not want to hurt somebody and be rich off of it. Like, what, what degree of hurting? What are we talking about? Would you rather live without the internet or live without air conditioning and heating? Live <laughs> without easy. the internet. Okay, that's the, yeah, that's the easy one. I, I I don't give a shit about air conditioning at all. No, because you can but your body will regulate. I I because I, I can I can deal with that. Well, I can but deal with heat too without the heat, heat too. thing. When you've experienced those days where it's negative six degrees or yeah. negative. Oh, hell no. If I had the internet, I'd be able to Google how to make myself warm. <laughs> I mean, I, you know what I mean? Like, how to build an igloo, and, and then you're set. Okay. All right. Would you rather have a horrible job, but be able to retire comfortably in 10 years, or have your dream job, but have to work until the day you die? I would rather have my dream job and work until the day I die. Yeah. For sure, 100%. Because if you're doing something that you love, you're really living. Well, I would rather live in, until in I die. In your case, what you love to do it's is something capture I like to the do. world. So, But like, also, like, I'm a photographer. For those of you who are new or don't know, um, I'm a photographer professionally. I, we own our own company as well as I work for a contract company. And I would take photos even if I wasn't paid to do it. I don't know how not to. I don't know how not to think the way That's I true. think or see the, the way, see things the way I see them. So I can't imagine not doing that until I die. Like I hope that I have a camera in my hand when I die, honestly. Would you rather find your true love or suitcase <laughs> or a suitcase with five million dollars inside? I already found her. Um, so. But if you hadn't, would you rather find me no, or five million dollars? No, I'd rather find you. Would Three, you rather be chicken. able to teleport anywhere or to be able to read minds? Teleport anywhere. Oh, hell yeah. Because, like, have you seen that movie, um, What Women Want, with uh, yes. Mel Gibson? <laughs> I would hate That's it. That's terrifying stuff. Well, also, there's, like, there's some, so much calm and quiet. So to be in spaces that are quiet, but they're not quiet to you because you can hear what everyone is thinking... That would be terrible. Nothing is ever quiet. I can't imagine that. And also, I also think about this. While people are sleeping, sometimes their subconscious mind is still thinking things. So you're trying to sleep, and the person who's snoring next to you is talking to you. Like, that is creepy. No, thank you. I don't want to talk to you in my sleep. What are you saying? I'm worried about you hearing what I think about when oh. I'm sleeping. I think about some weird stuff. You do. I know. But, I mean, if you remember correctly, I was the one who had, you know, the bear guarding the beer from the moose. That was really green. cute, though. But if you remember correctly, <laughs> also, I had the creepy fat caterpillar knitting me socks. That's true. You did. <laughs> in my dream. Yeah, so, would you rather die in 20 years with no regrets or die in 50 years with many regret regrets? Regrets. 20 years. You'd rather die in 20 years? 
With no regret. Yeah, but it could be regret for something <clears throat> stupid, like I regret wearing purple that one day. I do. It was a terrible color. When did you wear purple? It was raining. Prince what? was alive. What? Purple was going on. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> One more question for you to ask me while I finish this last wig, but I'm, I'm not. I have one wig. Would you rather know when you're going to die or how you're going to die? Can't change the time or method of your death. I don't want to have an expiration. You can't change the time or anything about it, even though you know how. But knowing how doesn't tell you when. So no, I wouldn't I mean, like, be, why would I, I want to change the date of time? If I, you know trip falling out of my door, I would never go outside again, kind of thing. You know what I mean? Like, But it's inevitable that it's going to happen at some point, so you can't be fearful of something yeah. that you can't avoid. So I would rather know how than know when. Because again, I don't want an expiration because you live your life differently. It's true. Not that you wouldn't if you knew how, but I just think it would be worse. We are both out of beer and we're out of would you rather's. Let us know in the comments. No, we're not. There's a lot of right, but we're done for today's episode. <laughs> it's like it just keeps Let going. us know if you enjoyed this video. <clears throat> We'd like to see more content like this from us, and at, answer one of your favorite would you rather's in the comments down below. We'd like to hear what you guys would choose. It's always nice hearing uh, opposing opinions. Thank you for joining us. Drink Thank good beer and stay warm. Well, I'm empty cheers. Cheers. I got some. Oh, I don't think I do. No, I do. Oh. I got full. I get, I'm not above licking oh. the glass. Don't lick the glass. I know one question you can answer both to. Would you rather hit subscribe here or watch more content here? Both. All of the above. Duh. Cheers.